It is the 31st century, and mankind is once again at war. The battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines known as battle mechs. Good morning, Captain. Command has something big in the works. We need you to draw enemy attention away. Analysts have identified what appears to be an enemy logistic staging area. Proceed at once to the area, destroy any forces protecting the base, and seize the dump. Once this is done, support will move in and claim the material. You are authorized to destroy the dump if capturing it becomes unfeasible. Good luck, Commander. As the midday sun reached its zenith, Clydesdale lands of the 5th Company Deneb Light Cavalry approached the Draconis Supply Facility. The base was primarily built on a large flat-topped hill overlooking the rolling hills below. Captain Kryson ordered his lance to make best speed ahead to push the invaders out of the area so they could raid the much-needed supplies. Meanwhile, Sigori Lands, 3rd Company, 9th Dirian Regulars, powered up their mechs. As the campaign to secure the planet of David dragged on, one more battle was about to be fought. Turn 1. The Stalker walks forward. The Cataphract runs ahead trying to close the range. The Orion walks forward off the hill. The Marauder runs forward. The Victor charges forward, trying to get his massive autocannon into range. Mech warrior Kojo stayed still, taking cover behind the nearby building. The Whitworth and Panther also take cover, preparing to provide direct fire support. The Cataphract fires on the Orion with his PPC and AC-10. The PPC hitting the Orion in the left arm. The Victor fires two medium lasers at the Orion but cannot hit the distant target. The Marauder fires a PPC and a large laser, hitting it in the left arm with the PPC. The Whitworth launches LRMs from both his launchers at the Victor, missiles hitting the assault mech in the right leg and arm. Chu E. Sano manages to keep his Orion under control, returning fire on the Victor with his LRM-15 and AC-10. The autocannon misses, but missiles pepper the Victor. The Vindicator also fires on the Victor with his PPC and LRM-5. The PPC hits the assault mech in the right leg and missiles damage the right arm. The Stalker fires both large lasers and a salvo of LRMs at the Orion, but misses. The Panther fires his PPC at the Vindicator, but also misses. Turn 2. The Cataphract walks up to the hill and building, threatening the Vindicator, using them for cover. Captain Kryson charges the Orion in front of him. The Marauder walks forward. The Whitworth stands still taking aim with his LRMs. The Orion runs around the Victor, trying to take cover behind a nearby hill. The Vindicator jumps back to his allies on the hill. The Stalker runs forward. The Panther stands still, lighting up his PPC. Captain Kryson lines up on the Orion, Alpha striking with his full arsenal. The massive autocannon rounds slam into the mech's center torso, the armor straining to protect the mech's vital components. The medium lasers hit the right leg and center torso, and the missiles damage the left leg and right arm. The Marauder fires a PPC and large laser at the Victor, the large laser hitting the smaller mech in the right torso. The Whitworth fires both LRM-10s at the Victor, missiles again peppering the assault mech. The Panther fires again on the Victor with his PPC, but misses. The Vindicator fires his PPC as he lands, hitting the Victor in the right arm, destroying the assault mech's main weapon. The Stalker opens up on the Vindicator with two large lasers and missiles from one of his launchers. A large laser hits the Vindicator in the left leg. Chu E. Sano, unprepared for the punishment of the auto cannon hit, loses control of his mech, falling into the ground, further damaging the mech's left leg and left arm. Chu E. Sano deep scans the victor, sending the data to his superiors. The cataphract fires his AC-10 and PPC at the Vindicator, but both weapons miss. Turn 3. 
The Marauder runs around the building, closing in on the smaller Draconis Max. Captain Kryson keeps his victor's footing and runs up on top of the hill, turning to face the Panther and Whitworth. Chu E. Sano stands as Orion and takes cover behind the hill, preparing to fire on the rear of the victor. The cataphract runs toward the large building nearby, readying to fire on the Orion or the Vindicator. The Whitworth stands still, bringing his medium lasers to bear on the approaching victor. The Panther also stands still, preparing to fire his weapons. The Vindicator backs away from the assault mech. The Stalker sees an opening and charges up the hill to point-blank range with the Orion. The Panther unleashes his PPC and SRM-4 at the victor, but misses with everything. The Vindicator fires his PPC, LRM-5, and medium laser at the victor. The medium laser hits the left leg, and the missiles hit the right leg, but the PPC strikes the victor's head, slagging the armor and damaging the internal structure. Captain Kryson screams as charged particles overload parts of the cockpit. The Stalker fires down at the Orion with his four medium lasers and both SRM-6 launchers. The large lasers hit the right arm and left torso, and the missiles fail to track flying past the mech and digging out gouges in the soil. The Stalker then lands an earth-shattering kick square in the center torso of the Orion. The armor already weakened from the massive autocannon hit buckles inward, the foot smashing into the spinning gyro, destroying its delicate components. The Orion falls, damaging the left torso and right leg. Captain Kryson manages to block out the pain, almost falling, but managing to keep his victor under control. Lining up, he fires his remaining weapons at the Vindicator. The medium lasers hit the right torso and leg. The cataphract fires on the Vindicator with his PPC and AC-10, but misses. The Whitworth fires his three medium lasers at the victor, aiming high, trying to bring down the mech. The Whitworth only manages to damage the assault mech's left arm. The Marauder fires his PPC and large laser on the Vindicator, the large laser hitting the right arm. Chu E. Sano manages to stay conscious despite the repeated falls. He sets his scanners to deep scan the Stalker while he appraises the damage to his mech. Turn 4. The Cataphract runs up on the Vindicator. The Vindicator leaps into the air trying to withdraw, but the bunker is just too large and he lands atop it. The Whitworth jumps around the building trying to take cover between them. Captain Kryson, watching through a cracked canopy, leaps his mech away trying to reach safety. The Marauder runs up on top of the hill with the Cataphract. The Stalker walks off the hill looking down at the crippled Orion. Chu E. Sano tries to get his mech to crawl, looking up at the Stalker's massive leg lifting up above him. He reaches down and pulls the ejection lever. The Panther jumps back, taking cover. The Cataphract fires on the Vindicator with his PPC and AC-10. The PPCs miss, but the AC-10 rounds slam into the medium mech's head. Mech Warrior Mono instinctively brings his arms up as the targeting sensor explodes in front of him, showering his exposed body with shards of burning electronics. Despite the impact and the ruined readouts, Mech Warrior Mono manages to stay aware but cannot return fire. Captain Kryson is out of his weapons range. The Whitworth pilot uses the targeting data he received from the Vindicator to fire indirectly on the fleeing Victor. Despite the almost impossible shot, a few of the missiles hit the Vindicator's left arm and torso. The Marauder opens up on the Vindicator with both PPCs and his large laser trying to keep the smaller mech from escaping, but misses the landing medium mech. The Panther holds fire, unable to see any of the Deneb mechs. The Stalker pilot, seeing the telltale signs of an ejection, tries to keep eyes on the landing Draconis mech warrior. Turn 5. The Stalker walks forward, trying to keep up with the tiny human. The Marauder stays still, his mech overwhelmed with excess heat. 
the panther jumps away, withdrawing from the combat zone. The cataphract runs up, trying to chase down the fleeing Dirian mech. Mech warrior Amano and his Vindicator jumps to safety. The victor jumps further away from the battle, Captain Chrysan trying to protect his mech's shattered head. The Whitworth also jumps away, escaping with his landsmates. Aftermath Chu E. Sanos stayed silent despite the pain. He redressed the gash in his arm, looking on wearily as a Davian loaded another crate onto the back of a waiting truck. After hours now, he had stayed hidden in the maze of cargo crates, his anger growing each time a Gaijin cur soiled the dragon crest with their dirty hands. They loaded everything like common thieves. No, not thieves, more like locusts, insects consuming everything. Sano saw his chance. A worker turned a corner with his back to Sano, looking at his clipboard and the crates instead of his surroundings. Sano leapt out of the darkness. He drove his tanto into the man's neck. His hands closed around the man's mouth, silencing the man's gurgling as he fell. Quickly, Sano pulled the body back into the warehouse. He stripped off his cooling vest and used it to clean up what little blood he had allowed to fall. Sano dumped the body into a half-empty coolant drum and quietly sealed the lid. He then dressed himself in the Gaijin's foul-smelling overalls and hid his face under the man's cap. He then waited until another crate had been stowed before slipping past the workers and onto the nearly filled truck. Wedging in between some crates, he prayed to his ancestors for protection. With a lurch, the truck started away. Amano watched as the accursed Davian mech stomped around in the distance. They were still searching for him, but now they would never find him. After several tense miles and darkness of the setting sun, Sano slipped out of the side of the truck, rolling down into a ditch. He waited until all was silent. Then he ran into the darkness, slipping his emergency transponder from his pocket. Soon he would be returned to his unit, and unlike the foolish Davians, he would not be so obsessed with capturing an enemy as to allow them to escape. Soon this worthless planet would be part of the Combine, with the rest of the Federated Sons to follow. <laughs>